What's up guys, Ryan Knows Tech here today with techinform.us and today I'm going to make an updated video about uh, how to post for Tech Inform, what to do and what not to do. Made one of these a few months ago back when we first launched the site. Since then a couple things have changed, a couple things I want to stress more than others so I'm just going to make an updated video. Um, first things first, I did not make the GarageBand demo because I looked at what it entails and I am not a GarageBand expert. expert. So uh, you know, I'm not gonna make a video about it. GarageBand, it basically, it, it's just better. It gives you some better audio trimming features. Uh, I'm not gonna make a video about it. I'm not gonna write a post about it. So put that to bed. If anybody wanted that, I, I do apologize. Uh, send me a request if it's important and I'll, I'll try to work through it, but uh, it's not something I'm at all familiar with. Anyhow, uh, here's our site, techinform.us. If you don't know that's our site by now, you're probably new, in which case, welcome. Um, anyhow, to write a post on here, the only thing you have to do is become a member, I guess, register or sign up for the site. It's free. There's really no requirements other than a desire to uh, to write technology-based, automotive-based, anything referring to technology or cars or anything like that, planes, you know, um, anything but hairstyles, um, to write. You know, you have to have a desire to write and to, to write with good grammar. It's not just for anybody. We are trying to make uh, a more professional site here. Everything is edited before published. So, uh, before publishing, I should say. So down when you go to the site, you see this meta tab. Well, I'm logged into my administrative account, but if you, uh, if you weren't, if it's your first time to the site, or if you don't have an account, or if you're not logged in, it'll say register up on top. Click on register, go through the, the setup, the routine. I'll show you what that'll look like real quick. I'll go ahead and open up Firefox here, and go to Tech and Form. And down here you see register. So you're gonna click on register, then you're gonna want a username, an email, your first name, your last name, about yourself. Just write, you know, a couple sentences. This is what I do. This is the technology I use. These are the kind of posts I'm going to write, stuff like that. Um, your age, your uh, race or um, gender. Short sample post. Real simple. Real simple. Just write a paragraph. Uh, the purpose behind this is we want to see your writing style. We want to make sure that you know that there are two spaces in between sentences. That's just a pain to go through and edit, guys. I'm sorry, but it is. Um, Two spaces between paragraphs, capital letters in the front, periods at the end, basic stuff, and you don't say that he was wenting to the store because that isn't right. Um, what what do you uh, what position are you applying for here? A web designer, public relations, a video blogger, an editor, or an author? Let us know uh, what you'd like to do. Make a password. We don't see these. Confirm your password. Of course, accept the license agreement and then register. Super easy. Uh, you'll get an email. I, I believe I haven't done a whole lot of registration work since my roles ha have changed. But you should get an email. You click on the link. You know stuff like that. It's really easy. Um, we may have to verify you, which will take up to 24 hours. Not a big deal. So anyways, after you get that out of the way, you are going to be able to log in to your WordPress account. WordPress is essentially what most, if not all, big, uh, well not all, but a lot of big blogs use to, uh, to manage publishing, publication, stuff like that. So here's what it looks like. Yours is not going to look like this. You're not going to have some of these things over here. Uh, this is what it looks like from the administrative account. So, uh, if you go up to the top and click on new post, this is the easiest way to, uh, to create a new post. Click on that up in the top, it's going to open up a new uh, document here. Very easy. In this new post, you've got several fields where you can type. First thing you're going to see is enter title here. Well, that's going to be where you're going to put your title. Now, I want to stress a couple things here. Titles don't look like this. It, that's just really unprofessional and really lazy. Titles might look like this. You know, capital letters. Um, most words, not of, and, and, or, stuff like that are, are capitalized. And if you ever use MacBook, it doesn't look like this. That's just a lazy way of doing it. It looks like MacBook. An iPhone doesn't look like that. It's a little lie. You know, little things like that. Maybe I have OCD, but it just looks so much better and more professional if you do it uh, the way it's supposed to be. So we'll call this iPhone for, how about white iPhone, if I could spell delayed again and of course you probably don't want to use caps like that because that just looks tacky so uh, that's the first thing you want to do the next thing is your body you come down here and you see that there's two ways to view the body visual that's what you're probably going to want to use here 
Um, you know, you have all these controls for bold, and it's really easy. It's just like Word. If you click on HTML, you lose those, but you can use block quotes. You can just put in a strong tag yourself if you're comfortable in HTML. You can do more things here, make it look a little bit better if you want to. And this is how you're going to embed video, and we'll get into that right now. I know a lot of people like to uh, embed videos, so we'll go over a little demo on, uh, on how to do that. So first you want to find uh, the video you want to embed. We'll go to find one of mine for copyright issues. How about the one from yesterday? Alright, so you find your video and then you click down here under the video it says embed. Click on that, copy everything in there. Just Command C or Control C on a PC. Come over here, you have all your text that you wrote in visual, which will look like this, text in visual. Go to HTML, come down, skip a line, paste your code, enter, now go back to visual. If you don't hit enter, it won't work for some reason. You have to paste it, a line down in HTML, hit enter, and then go back to visual. You have to go back to visual. It kind of sets that OK motion onto the HTML to work. And then you publish your post. But before publishing posts, there's still more to do. Um, for example, post tags. The tags are what Google finds uh, when, when searching for this. So in here I would do iPhone, comma, uh, so comma, comma, separate the tags. Make sure that you put commas there. iPhone, comma, white, comma, Apple, comma, 4, comma, 4G. That's probably enough. Oh, maybe delayed. And then you click on add. There are your uh, five or six tags. Add as many as you like, but preferably under 10. It just kind of screws up Google's algorithm if you give them too many. And then there's categories. Um, please add categories. A couple are always fine. So this time, how about we do gadgets, iOS, uh, phones, iPhone, and uh, let's put it under a video because we embedded a video there. So when you're done with all of this, I should add don't write anything in the excerpt tag or in the excerpt box. We don't even use that. When you're done, click on publish. Very, very, very easy. Now, if you notice and you go to the site, uh, it's not published yet. We have an editor, to, an editor, excuse me, that goes through and edits everything for spelling, grammar, and stuff like that. Notice I uh, did not tell you to make a, um, an image at all. I say this because the images that we need are are different. They have to be 150 DPI and they have to be in the resolution 300 by 500. If you're really good with Photoshop and you can make images that look, you know, really crystal clear, put maybe put a reflection or light outer glow on it, a drop shadow. Nice effects make a really nice, clean, simple image. Then go ahead and make one. But keep in mind that our editor may think, you know what, I think I might be able to make something a little bit better than that in 10, 15 minutes in Photoshop at most. And uh, more than likely, we will change that image unless it's, you know, par with what we have, in which case that's fine. So images, we'll do, we'll handle that. Uh, the editor, I know we've had a couple discrepancies with editing. You changed my, my idea behind the post. No, uh, we changed grammar. If you said the same thing five times, we're going to remove three or four of those. Um, it is purely editing, excuse me, with that. It's purely editing to go through and uh, fix you know, grammar errors, content errors. If you say the iPhone 4 was released in 1997, we're going to have a problem with that. We're going to fix it. Um, if there is a major problem, then we won't even approve the post. Everything that we do has to be approved. It takes less than 24 hours for us to get to the approval process. So uh, it's pretty easy to blog. Of course it's free. Uh, some people think we charge you to blog with us. In fact, we may be able to start paying you uh, through ads and revenue sharing in, in a bit. But until then, um, please blog for us. We always look for more content. We're trying to get lots of stuff up now. It's going actually pretty well. So uh, thank you a lot for watching this video. I apologize. My phone's going up uh, here at the house. Anyways, uh, the website is techinform.us. I'm going to go quick. The Twitter is twitter.com slash James R. Schultz. Link's down there. And then catch me live on Tuesday night between 7 and 9 p.m. Eastern time on ustream.tv slash techinformus. Thanks, guys. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.